and girls and praise the Lord. This is another beautiful Sunday morning and this is the day that the Lord has made. We all will rejoice and be glad in it. I hope children that you have had a very good week. I am teacher Penina. I'm teacher Esther. I'm teacher Jane. And we are coming to you from PCA Nairobi West Sunday School. We welcome you for today's lesson where we'll do various things and before we do that, we are all going to stand together and pray. So what do we do, children, when we are about to pray? We put our hands together, we close our eyes, and we bow our heads, and we pray. Our Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. We want to thank you for giving us life, even good health and a sound mind. Thank you for keeping us safe, and thank you for this moment that we are together to learn about your word, we ask that your presence will be together with us even as we continue in our lesson for today. Thank you for every boy, every girl, everybody that is uh, joining us for this lesson. We ask for your blessings, for we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. 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 Now children, we are going to all stand up wherever you are and we are going to sing this song together. When he calls me, I will answer. Are you ready? Let's do this. One, two, sing. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere working for my Lord. I'll be somewhere working, working somewhere. Working, working somewhere. Working for my Lord. I'll be somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking for my Lord. When He calls me, I will answer. When He calls me, I will answer. When He calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere, walking for my Lord. I'll be somewhere, walking, walking somewhere. Walking, walking somewhere, walking for my Lord. I'll be somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking for my Lord. Amen. Thank you, children, for singing with us. Indeed, when the Lord calls us, we had better be somewhere working for Him. And now, children, we are going to invite Teacher Alice to remind us about the Golden Rules. Welcome, Teacher Alice. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are well, still at home. But until it's safe to go outside, let us remind ourselves about six golden rules. Rule number one, please children, remember to wash your hand very well with running water and soap. Then you rinse and dry them with a clean towel or serviette. Rule number two, please do not touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth with the dirty hands. Rule number three, do not cough or sneeze into the air. If you are to do so, you can use a serviette and you throw it into the dusty bin. Or you can cough on the bent of your elbow. Rule number four, if you are to go outside, please make sure that you don't stay too close to your friend. You can keep a safe distance. And rule number five, if also you have to go outside, make sure that you wear your face mask. And how do we wear them? Make sure that you cover 
your nose and your mouth. And rule number six, and boys and girls, this one is also very important. Please stay at home. Thank you, boys and girls, for being so obedient. May God bless you. Good morning, boys and girls. This is another Sunday that the Lord has made, and we shall be glad in it. Last Sunday, just remind ourselves, we had a lesson, and the lesson was about a beggar who was in the, uh, at the beautiful gate, and he used to beg there. And one day, Peter and John, they had come to pray. And when the beggar saw the two, he begged some money. But as we can remember, Peter said, silver and gold, we have none. But in the name of Jesus Christ, stand and walk. And for sure, after the prayer and the mention of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the beggar stood and walked. And this is to remind us, whatever we pray, in the name of Jesus, we will receive. And today's Bible lesson comes from the book of Acts chapter 9 from verse 1. And you may read with your parents up to verse 22. And the story is about a man called Saul. Saul was a Jew. And during those days, the gospel of Jesus had started being preached by his disciples. And Saul never believed in the gospel of Jesus. But as, as I have said, he was a Jew. So he believed in the Old Testament. And he was very angry with the disciples going to preach about Jesus. And he decided to work against them. And he decided to persecute and even to imprison some. And you know, what is persecution? Persecution is when you just go and kill for your own purpose and reason. And since now, he could not have gone to Damascus, and that is the city that he was ready to go and persecute. Since he could not have gone without permission, he went to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, he was given a permit by the chief priest to go and persecute and even to take prisoners, those Christians who were speaking and even preaching about Jesus. And on the way to Damascus, something happened. And it was an amazing thing. You know what happened? He fell from, what, he was riding on a horse. And a light came from heaven. And he was struck by the light. And he fell down. When he fell, he tried to stand. And when he tried to stand, he was blind. He tried to, to, to touch whatever was around him. But he couldn't. And... Those who were with him, those who were going to persecute the Christians there at Damascus, they were shocked because they heard this voice. And the voice was asking Saul, 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 why are you persecuting me? And Saul said, Lord, who are you? And Jesus said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. And you know, as they, they were still in that shock, that same, same voice spoke again, and he was told, go to that city that you are going to, and wait there until you are told what to do. And though he was a persecutor, he obeyed the voice. And those who were with him, they carried him and took him to Damascus. There at Damascus, he was taken to a house of a man called Judas. And there, he was praying, and praying earnestly because he was told to wait. He was waiting, believing that there's something. That Lord who spoke to him from heaven had something for him to do. And as he was praying, he was shown in a vision of a man who was called Ananias that will come and pray for him. And still, that same man called Ananias, he was shown in a vision to go and pray for Saul. And Ananias was shocked because he never knew he was to go and face Saul because he was a Christian, yes, and he believed in Jesus. And Saul had gone there 
to persecute those who believed in Jesus. But the voice told him, no, you just go and put your hands on him and he will regain his sight. Because this soul, I want him to be my vessel whom I will use to go and spread the gospel. And exactly that is what Ananias did. He went and told Saul. He called him Brother Saul. So even Ananias believed that already Saul was transformed. He was not the persecutor. Now he was, he was one of those who will go and preach the gospel. And he told him, I've been sent by that Jesus who met you on the road. And he has told me to pray for you and you will regain your sight. And that is exactly what he did. And after he gained his sight, he was baptized. And after he was baptized, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. And you know what? After he was filled with the Holy Spirit, he started preaching about this Jesus because he was transformed. He was no longer Saul. Because if you continue reading about the book of Acts and the other books that were are written in the New Testament, most of the books were written by Paul and not Saul. Because after the transformation and after the conversion, he was converted from Saul to Paul. And when he was Paul, he did the preaching, not, even, not only in Jerusalem, not only in Damascus, he went all over the world. Because if you continue reading, you will hear he went to Asia, he went even to other continents. Because he was used by God as that noble vessel. Yes, and this is our lesson today. Boys and girls, the Lord needs us. Yes, he's calling us as he called Saul. He wants to transform us to his noble vessels. Are you ready to be used as that noble vessel? Yes, we are ready because it's only that we will decide. If you follow Jesus, everything else will be unto him to use you. And if you are used by Jesus, you will be a blessing to others because we are called to spread the gospel to those who don't know about Jesus so that they may know Jesus and live to Jesus. Our memory verse comes from the book of Acts chapter 9, verse 4. He fell on the ground and heard a voice say, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Be blessed. Thank you, Teacher Jane, for the beautiful story about the conversion of Saul to Paul. And this is after Jesus appeared to him. And he decided that from that day onward, he was to follow Jesus. And that is what we do when we encounter Jesus. We make a decision to follow him all the days of our lives. And we are going to sing this song about following Jesus, that we have decided to follow Jesus. Join us as we sing together. One to sing. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Hello children, welcome to Biblecraft. This is where we have much fun expressing our God-given creativity. Last week, you made very beautiful pictures of the beautiful gate. And here are some of the pictures that you drew. <music>
have heard from teacher Jane the story of the conversion of Saul to Paul. So we are going to draw the road to Damascus and the light from heaven that Saul saw and fell on the ground and became bright. Children, what do we need? We need a piece of paper, a pencil, a ruler, a rubber, crayons, and if you don't have crayons, you can use colored pencils. Are you ready, children? Let us begin. We are going to start by drawing clouds. You draw a curve like this, a big curve and a small one like that. These are crowds. You draw another one here. Start with a big curve, a small one like this. You draw another one here like that. From the story, we have heard that the light came from heaven. So from here, you're going to use our ruler like this. You draw a straight line like that. And another one here like that. Then from there, we are going to draw some lines, uh, broken lines like this. You stop. Another one there, like that. You see how it's coming out? You do the same way. Yeah, like that. Like that. Like that. Now this is the light which came from heaven. And here we are going to draw a line like this. Now this is where the city of Damascus was. So you draw a line like that. Then we are going to draw a line like this. It is pointed here, like that. It's more like a rectangle shape. That. Bring it down like that. Then at the middle of the road, you're going to draw a line, but don't press your pencil so hard. So you draw a faint line like that. You draw another one very close to the one that you have drawn. I hope you are following. You see, it is narrow towards the end. Okay, now from there, we are going to <coughs> draw some lines like this. Like those are the marks of the road, like that. So they are marked at the center of the road, like that. Then from there, we are going to draw the city of Damascus. So we are going to draw buildings like that. There yeah, are some are square in shape, others are rectangular like that. And behind, you draw mountains like that. There are hills, hills, not mountains. From their children, we are going to draw a road sign that shows uh, this is the road to Damascus, like that. And here you write the word Damascus, like that.
Now from there we are going to color our pictures. For the light we are going to use yellow. So you take a yellow crayon and you color like this. Yeah, the light was bright. So make sure you press it hard to come out very well. Then from there, we are going to color our road. We are going to use black color like this. And don't color the midline. You leave it like that. You color very well. Like that. And you do the same the other side. Like that. Color very well. Now at the middle line, this is how we are going to color it. You take one box like this one and color it black like that. You skip this one, you come to the other one like that. And so on. Like that. Yeah, you can make it darker that like that yes now from there we are going to color the city of Damascus you can use any color you want you can use your favorite colors like that here we are going to use yellow color. Uh -huh, this one I'll color it with the blue, like that. The next building I'll use green. You see, it's becoming attractive. Yes, another one I'll use red, like that. And the last one, I'm going to use purple, like that. Now let us come to the crowds. Uh -huh. Crowds, we are going to color the edge like this with uh, black, like that. Don't place it hard, like that. that you're just curling the edges of the crowds like that yeah you can also if you if you have a pencil you can also use a pencil and here at um, you can do something like that yeah these are the crowds now we are going to color the sky what color is the sky blue so we are going to use blue to color the sky like this make sure you don't touch the crowds you're going to color the sky with the blue like that don't color the hills you're going to color the sky only with the blue. Now we have finished our drawing. Wow. You can hang it on the wall or you keep it somewhere safe and it will always remind you about conversion of soul to Paul. May God bless you.
Hello boys and girls and welcome to our section of the Bible quiz. Last week our story was about the healing of the crippled beggar. You are to read from Acts chapter 3 from verse 1 to 26 and answer those questions. Here are the answers. <music> I hope you scored all of them and thank you for the answers that you posted. Now, for this week, children, we have learned about the conversion of Saul to Paul. Now, for this week's Bible quiz, you are going to read the book of Acts, chapter 9, from, from verse 1 to 20, and answer the following questions. <music> I'll mark them next week and have fun doing them and may God bless you. Children, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. We are now going to close the, our lesson with a word of prayer by Teacher Esther. Welcome, Teacher. Thank you. Children, let's bow our head and we close our eyes. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for taking us through our lesson, O oh Lord. Even the great lesson that we have learned today, we continue committing all children unto your able hands, Father, that, Lord, you continue reaching out to them and blessing them and teaching them your ways, O oh Lord. May you also protect them during this pandemic, O oh Lord. And even all the parents and all the caregivers, Lord, protect them and keep them safe, O oh Lord. We give you praise and we give you honor, O oh Lord, because you are loving and caring, Father. It is in Jesus' name that we pray and also give thanks. Amen. Amen. May the grace of, of our, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, children, for staying with us through the lesson for today. And I hope that you enjoyed all our sections. Until next week. God bless you. Have a very wonderful week. And remember, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.